Hello, friends. So the other day, I was doing some whitewater kayaking with a few friends, and it was pretty fun. We were just sort of bouncing around while navigating through this canyon, and it was a really exhilarating experience, so much so that I missed the thrill of hitting the waves, bumping into rocks, and getting some serious sail with my kayak. I started to think about etymology, as I sometimes do in these high-intensity situations, and in particular about the origin story of the word canyon, and whether it's related to the word canon. So of course, at the end of the day, I went home and did a little etymology research, which led me down a winding and sometimes turbulent path until I finally reached my watershed, so to speak, and found the answer I was looking for. So actually, as those of you who know Spanish may be aware, the words canyon and canon are directly descended from the Spanish cañón, which means both canon and canyon, and then from there from caño, denoting a pipe or tube. From there you can trace the etymology of the Spanish word past Latin, Greek, and basically all the way back to Sumerian, the first written language, which was spoken about 5,000 years ago. As you can see in the chart, the words canon and canyon both originally came from the fact that they had a long cylindrical reed-like shape, like, for example, sugarcane, which also shares the same origin story. In the case of canon, it's pretty easy to see the similarity, but with canyon, the connection might not be so obvious. I guess if you think of a canyon as an elongated and semi-cylindrical surface that conducts water, like a pipe or a tube, then this origin story starts to make sense. Also, you can see in the chart that the words channel and canal likewise share the same origin story and connotation of being surfaces that transport water. And now, another interesting connection is the modern word canon in the ecclesiastical sense, which is descended from the Greek kanon, which denoted any straight rod or bar, or rule that could in turn be used to signify a standard of excellence. To be clear, the link between the canon with one end and canon with two ends isn't definitive, but likely, according to most experts, so I thought I'd add that branch to the chart as well. Oh, and actually, one more. Some of you may be thinking, that Greek word canna kind of sounds similar to cannabis. Is there any connection? Well, I guess, first and foremost, when it comes to talking about cannabis, my first reaction is to say, no comment. But I guess, since we're talking etymologically, I can probably give more details. So admittedly, there's an, at best, tenuous link between the Greek word canna and the modern word cannabis. So the modern word cannabis does come from the Greek cannabis, and here's where scholars disagree. The consensus is that the origin of the Greek word cannabis is unknown, but likely Scythian or Thracian. So basically, the word originated somewhere in the Eurasian steppe. However, another school of thought claims that the Greek word cannabis is actually akin to the similar sounding Hebrew word kenebosum, which means fragrant reed, and is related to the Greek kana, meaning reed. It's a phrase used in the Bible, specifically in the book of Exodus, and so some observers note that this fragrant reed is actually cannabis, and that therefore the modern word cannabis through the Greek cannabis descends from the Hebrew kenebosem, and so according to this theory, the words canyon, canon, channel, canal, and cannabis would all be related through their common Acadian ancestor, kanum. So anyway, I'll leave it up to the experts to determine if that biblical origin story for cannabis is accurate or not. And let's be clear, when it comes to cannabis, I'm definitely no expert. In fact, in case my employer is watching, I would say I'm not even a beginner. In any case, thanks for watching.